Hi, this is Jiamin, investment analyst from PC Financial. In the first 15 days of September, the Indonesian rupiah was the worst performing ASEAN currency, with the USD IDR strengthening close to 2%. One of the key reasons is due to the concerns about the independence of the central bank. Earlier this year, the government announced a debt-sharing arrangement with Bank Indonesia, and Bank Indonesia will purchase Indonesian rupiah 397.6 trillion worth of bonds. The central bank will not be receiving interest on these bonds, thus helping to shoulder the cost of debt. Also, Indonesian lawmakers recently proposed to give the Indonesian finance minister voting rights on monetary policy meetings and expand the central bank's mandate. This raises concerns about Bank Indonesia's independence, which was enshrined in 1999 by law at the height of the Asian financial crisis. The law was passed back then to ensure the separation between the government and the central bank. The idea of an independent central bank meant that the central bank was free from the concerns of politicians. This is important to emerging countries such as Indonesia to help manage foreign investors' confidence and the currency's stability. Without the central bank's independence, the rupiah may face high volatility should there be political uncertainty. We think that until foreign investors are assured that Bank Indonesia's independence will be protected, the Indonesian rupiah is likely to continue to underperform other ASEAN currencies in the near term. With that, I end my presentation for today.